Hey Insiders, it's Rachel here, and today I wanted to share two new comparison tools that we've developed for analytics. Now these tools are designed to help you analyze and compare videos over time, which is really important because you wanna know what's working on your channel. And so in this video, I'm gonna cover three things. First, how to find these new comparison features in analytics. Second, how to interpret the data. And then lastly, we'll talk a little bit about how you might act on this information. Let's start with dot plots. You can also call these scatter plots, and I find these incredibly helpful. These are gonna help you compare lots of videos across the exact same time frame, And you can choose between the first 24 hours, first seven days, or first 28 days. So to find this report, you wanna to go to channel analytics, click on advanced mode, compare to, and then select first 24 hours video performance. Once you're into this report, you're gonna have more options to customize it. So on the left-hand side, you can choose between whichever published dates you'd like to select. And this feature is available for any video published in 2019 onwards. But only 100 videos can be displayed up to one time, so if you do uh, change around the published dates and uh, not all videos are visible, you've probably reached the, reached the 100 video limit. So next, you can select period since published. And there you can choose between the first 24 hours, first seven, or first 28 days. And this feature allows you to make fair comparisons between your videos because each dot is a video over the exact same time frame. So in this example, all viewership data are videos seven days post-publish. Lastly, you can choose what metric you want to compare against. So you can choose views, impressions, average view duration, and more. Uh, also note that this feature isn't yet available for artist channels. So now that you're into this report, you can hover over the dots to see what each video is. And below this chart, you're going to see three categories, top, average, and bottom performing videos. But know that the top and bottom list just represent the top and bottom five videos according to whatever metric you've selected, like views. Now in that table, you can compare at a glance how many views and impressions these videos received in that time frame, and how engaging they were. So compare click-through rates, average view durations, or average percent uh, viewed. Now in this example, you can already see that many of the top performers, or the videos that received more views and impressions, uh, did have higher click-through rates and average percent viewed compared to the lower performing videos. Okay, so that's dot plots, which is great if you want to compare lots of videos against each other. But if you want to compare just two videos, know that we've also added a first 24 hours time range that lets you compare early video performance. To get to this report, you can go to the video report, click on the date picker, and what's new here is that first 24 hours option that gives you an overview of how your video did in its first day after release. Know that the reason we added that is not because first 24 hours is of particular importance to a recommendation system. It's not. It's not always indicative of a video's future performance because videos can do incredibly well, sometimes weeks and months after they're released. The reason we added it is because this is typically when creators want to compare their video performance. So if you want to compare a video to another similar video, go ahead and click on advanced mode and then compare to. In the example that I'm going to be showing, I'll choose the last video that I made where I answered questions about uh, our recommendation system to another video I made about the algorithm. I can see that my latest video performed the best. It received about 30% more views and had a higher click-through rate and average percent viewed than the previous video I made. That's a pretty good sign. Now, when comparing videos, uh, what I encourage you to think about is what made one or the other more broadly appealing. You know, how can you replicate the success in the future? Lastly, you might be wondering, like, how should I act on this data? What you really want to do is look for common themes among top and bottom performers. This report is really helpful in identifying content trends on your channel over time. So in this example that I'm looking at, a lot of the top performing videos mention algorithm in the title. So maybe that makes sense because there's a lot of creator demand for information about that topic. So those videos are more broadly appealing. Now when I'm looking at the bottom ones, I notice that two of them start with more on or more info. And I also notice that they have lower click-through rates. So maybe that's a sign to change up the title, try something more intuitive. Also in our example, the bottom performers share a similar thumbnail style. It's more text heavy than some of the newer ones we've been experimenting with on this channel. What I'm recommending is you do the same. Look across your top and bottom performing videos, look for common trends you can spot among them. What you really wanna do is ask yourself, you know, what should I make more of and what can I improve on? Okay, that was a pretty quick video. I hope it was helpful. Please let us know in the comments if you have suggestions or ideas about how to improve YouTube analytics even further for all creators. So as always, keep it real.